Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead and another What We Eat for Dinner in a Week. In these videos, I show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantry to make hopefully well-balanced, uh, delicious meals. As a family, we generally eat low-carb because my husband and I have to for health reasons, and as the sole cook in the house, it is easier for me to make one meal than to try to short order cook it, but you'll see variations to that, and I'll explain as we go. Uh, so I'll preface this by saying the last two weeks we have dealt with a slow roll in stomach bug that has made its way through our entire household, except for my husband, because, you know, lucky him. Um, and everybody is generally on the mend. The little guy that had it last, um, he is still not eating full meals and he's kind of eating on the lighter side and it's nothing for him to get partway through a meal and say, okay, I'm done. I don't want any more of this. Um, and that's fine. We've, I've just been having him really pay attention to his body. Um, and then me who has had long-term digestive issues aside from this, um, I am still having a little bit of nausea and, um, just seems like my digestive system has slowed down, um, and I have had, um, like acid reflux and yeah, that kind of thing. So I am also trying to listen to my body and eat small meals and, you know, kind of just work with my body and listen and eat easy foods, that kind of thing. So we're all on the mend. All right. So this week is just going to be a normal all week because of that. For general, we're just eating normal foods now. Uh, so tonight we are having broccoli chicken alfredo. So I did up a about a half a box of ziti pasta from the food pantry, two big crowns of broccoli, and I just steamed that. And then this is two jars of alfredo sauce and then like three chicken thighs from Aldi, like frozen ones that I just diced up and cooked. No big deal. Sorry, it's warm weather. Can you tell? My kids are in and out all the time. Um, so we will do like the pasta with some broccoli on it and the Alfredo sauce on top. For me, I'm just going to do this. Sometimes I would do zoodles or uh, we've done like the different types of the palmini noodles or whatever they are. Um, I'm not doing that this time. I, one, don't have any zucchini to make zoodles with, and then I'm not going to open up a whole package of those noodles for just me to eat because my husband's not home. So, um, yeah, that works out. Uh, my, I guess I should say for people who are new here, my husband is a truck driver, so he's home for four days straight and then gone for four days straight. Uh, so yeah, I sometimes mention that in the videos just on a understanding uh, why like smaller portions, there's like an adult size portion missing, but yeah, five kids, 13 down to three. So like the bottom two, three aren't huge eaters anyway. So, all right, that is Monday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Tuesday night and I had it on the menu to do fajitas, but it just didn't sound good. So when I asked my oldest what she thought we should have for dinner, she goes, can we have breakfast for dinner? My kids never get tired of this and I don't know why. <laughs> So I cooked these sausage links that were from the food pantry in the pan and then scrambled the eggs in the pan, which is why they kind of have the little flecks of um, sausage in them, just makes them extra delicious. And then when they were done, I sprinkled cheese on top of that. And then I made a blackberry lazy day cobbler. Um, that's what our family calls it. So you put the pan in the oven with butter and that melts and then you make a batter and when the butter is melted you kind of drizzle it all over it so you make pockets of butter and then you sprinkle your fruit on top of that the original recipe calls for sugar on top of that like you sprinkle sugar on top of it i do not do that it does not need the added sugar and i add uh the original recipe called for a cup of fruit for an eight by eight i did about a cup and a half um so i like it extra fruity um, obviously I am not going to eat that and I'm not going to eat the breakfast for dinner either. I have breakfast for breakfast pretty much every day of the week. Um, so I have no desire to eat breakfast for dinner. Um, so I have keto chicken nuggets using canned chicken from the food pantry in the air fryer. If you hear it running in the background. 
Um, and then there was quite a bit of leftover broccoli from last night. So I think I will probably end up pulling that out and warming some of it up with just like some shredded cheese on top. And that will be my dinner. So that is a Tuesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night and this is not what I had on the menu for tonight. Um, I was supposed to do cabbage roll in a bowl and I just did not feel like it. I didn't feel like making it. I didn't feel like eating it. None of the kids wanted it. So yeah, I had pulled out these brats, uh, to thaw as possibly something to do this weekend. Um, or actually I had planned on doing them last weekend and we didn't get it done. So yeah, um, I pulled those out and just did them in the air fryer. And then I made some simple coleslaw. I am not going to do the coleslaw because my stomach still is just not in a great place with raw vegetables, especially cabbage. Cabbage is probably one of the roughest vegetables you can do. Um, but there's broccoli left over from last night, so I'm just going to do some broccoli and cheese. And then I pulled out some chips to go with it. So a really simple, um, good meal for a hot, almost summer day. It feels like summer outside. Blech. I was not ready for spring to be over, but y'all, it's in like the high 80s. This is not fair. <laughs> I like spring. All right, that is Wednesday night's dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Thursday night, and this is not what I had planned for dinner either. Um, we ended up shirking responsibility and went to our local park today and had a park day. We spent four hours at the park. Um, when I got home, I thought, oh, I should probably check and see what I have planned for dinner tonight. And I looked and realized I had pulled pork on the menu that was supposed to go in the crock pot this morning and it hadn't, and it was 4.30. So, um, just shortly after that, my husband sent me a text message and said he was on his way home from this week and asked me if he need if I needed him to pick up anything from the grocery store. And I was like, hey, let's do that. So I said, why don't you pick up a steak? So that's what that is. And I had the other half of that big box of burgers, and then I had the packs of hot dogs. And I said, let's do grill out. And so we went ahead and grilled out, as you can tell. This will last us, obviously, for tonight and then several lunches um, to come for, at the very least, my husband and I. And then um, I had him grill up just a few of the little mini peppers. There's not a whole lot of us that like those, so I didn't want to make a whole bunch of them. I opened up a can of baked beans for the kids. And then I got out chips. And um, we picked, while this was cooking, I said, hey, I wonder if any of our strawberries are ready. And so we walked out and picked strawberries. I'll put a picture in here somewhere of those. Um, so there's probably enough strawberries for each of us to have at least a couple. Um, but yeah, that's where Thursday night's dinner. We'll see you tomorrow night. It is Friday night and Friday night at our house means pizza night. Sometimes that's homemade. Sometimes that's store bought. Sometimes it's a cross between the two. It is pretty much never takeout because we live too far out for takeout to be delivered and it's expensive. So Tonight is, I guess, kind of a cross between the two. This is another box of those gluten-free pizza crusts from the food pantry. Topped those with just some canned pasta sauce. And then um, this one I did Hawaiian, so some ham and pineapple and shredded mozzarella. And then this one I did... Um, mozzarella and cheddar and then some of that giant log of pepperoni that we got from the food pantry a while back. Um, I had my husband cut it up because muscles, um, it was tough. I had intended on kind of like trying to thin slice it. It was not going to work. So we just kind of diced it up small and that works. It's We've used it for this. We've used it for, I used it the other day to make some um, cheese quesadillas and put pepperoni inside, that kind of thing. Uh, with that, I had a kiddo request fruit salad, so I took one banana, one very overripe pear, so it kind of like disintegrated in there, which is kind of nice. It makes it nice and creamy. Some blue frozen blueberries, a couple of strawberries from the garden. What else was in there? I think that, oh, and an apple. So just really simple. Um... My husband took on an extra run in his semi-truck today 
Sometimes uh, they have an extra run because somebody is on vacation or a last minute kind of unexpected thing. And so he took my second oldest, so my 11 year old son with him and they are not back. They left at like 6.30 this morning and it is now almost seven. Um, we, I wa wasn't expecting them back until, um, I don't know, like five, five thirty this afternoon, but they got held up because that's how it always works. Um, luckily it's not a big hold up, but they won't be home for dinner, um, in time for dinner. So he's going to treat him with taking him out to dinner. Um, and that's fine. So, uh, for me, I'm not really in the mood pizza wise. So I'm just going to have leftovers from last night and that's totally fine with me. Uh, a cheeseburger sounds really good right now. So that is, oh, Friday night is also the one night a week that we for sure do dessert. Um, sometimes throughout the week, I will do like a cookie or two or something like that for the kids. Um, but Friday night is always the night that we do dessert. I know we have some of that strawberry chocolate chip ice cream left. There's some of the maple cookies. There's the bags of uh, the cookie dough bite thingies. So what I usually do is I just pull out all the dessert stuff and set it out on the counter and let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. Um, and it's worked out that the little container of strawberry chocolate chip ice cream is perfect for all five kids to have a small bowl of ice cream. We always do like maybe a third of a cup as a serving. Um, so yeah, that has kind of worked out nice, but, um, once again, I'll just let them pick. If I have dessert, I will do Greek yogurt, with um, a spoonful of peanut butter, some mini chocolate chips, and then if I have it, I'll do like diced up strawberries or, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll do like some slivered almonds, something along those lines so that it's got some texture, but yeah, uh, that works for me. So, all right, that is Friday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Saturday night, and tonight I usually make a big meal, but um, we went out and went yard sailing this morning, and uh, it was like 90 degrees out, and we all got overheated, and so we came home and just kind of chilled for the rest of the evening, or the rest of the day, and then this evening we went back out to, you know, just kind of piddle around at yard sales again. There's a bunch of big ones going around, uh, around us right now. Um, so we got home it is now 7 it's 20 after 7 so um between that and the fact that normally Sundays for lunch we do leftovers and tomorrow we have after church we have a, a church meal like a pitchin um so we're not going to get the leftovers eaten so I was like hey why don't we just eat leftovers for dinner and I'm not going to cook also I might have kind of forgot to put the pork roast thingy in the, the crock pot again for pulled pork oops monday we'll do it monday so yeah so you're getting kind of a, a sneak peek at what we normally do for lunch on sundays so i've got pasta and pot and the alfredo and broccoli leftover there's quite a bit of the meats um there's some burgers and some hot dogs and some brats there's leftover pizza there's some baked beans and peas and cottage cheese. I know there's not a whole lot of vegetables, but, you know, it's fine. The reason I do this is to get leftovers used so that we don't have any food waste. We rarely, rarely have any food waste in our house. If we do, it's a small amount and it gets fed to the chickens and the chickens then turn it into eggs. So it's not even food waste then. So what I will do is I will call the kids in one at a time and let them choose whatever they want. I have their names written on popsicle sticks and I draw names so that it's fair. Um, because we've had fights over, oh man, he took the last hot dog or whatever. So that keeps it fair and we just pop the plates in the microwave. Um, so... If you are new here, this is the end of my week of meals. Like I said, lunch normally on Sundays, I pull out all of the leftovers. Then tomorrow for dinner, I will pull out um, like charcuterie board things. We call it snacky dinner. Crackers, um, cured meats, cheese, dried fruits, um, goat cheese, pickles, all those kind of things. And once again, I lay everything out on the counter 
and let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. And that night I even use paper plates. So it makes for a nice relaxing Sundays for me on I don't cook on Sundays. It's all just leftovers and quick and easy kind of self-serve meals. So that is our week of meals. I will try to remember to post any relevant recipes in the show notes. I thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.